Hi, I'm Colin Pritchard. Um, I'm working for Cumbria County Council. As part of a workshop today, we've been involved in looking at the roles of various levels of management and operational people and how those roles can influence the effectiveness of the department and the organisation. We particularly looked in my group at the role of top managers or top workers in that service and we formed some views and some ideas on what we felt good behaviours would need to be seen, need to be demonstrated in order to be effective as managers at that level. Amongst that list uh, we took some notes of the, of the main points we wanted to make. One of the more important, one of the most important was that we felt that our own personal behaviour needed to model the sort of behaviours we expected from others. So it's about personal ownership and personal demonstration of what we want. We needed to be sure that there was clarity for everyone in terms of what's required of them in the organisation and the scope within which they can manage their, their business, whatever it might be. So clarity of purpose and the authority that people are given. For each of them also to have a clear understanding of the management of risk that that leads to and to believe and to understand that that risk isn't theirs personally but it is a shared risk of the organisation. So that by um, being clear on what's expected and managing their performance within clear risks, then we can learn from that without fearing that failure is a personal loss. So that shared learning and that, um, that development is an organisational development, not just for the individual. We expect people to not always get it right and that would be an opportunity for us to build a, a body of systems that help with coaching individuals and training them and developing them as part of the organisation. So there needs to be a support system in place as well. We need to be clear on the advantages of having delegated decision making so that people understand why that's better than alternative models. And we need to also reinforce and positively promote positive decision making so that when people do take responsibility and when they are prepared to take risks within a safe environment we encourage and support that from the top of the organisation.